welcome back everybody Ruben Texas all water fishing I am getting ready to load up actually I just unloading and ready to jump out you know it's super foggy day very foggy morning and it's, it's a little warm it's probably like in the 70s or like close to like probably like 64 65 it's pretty this would be the 70s a day but yeah just got out here you know just a little after sunrise and I can't wait to see what the day brings I'm gonna start the day off I have a tandem gulp tied on, also have a voodoo shad tied on, and I have a popping cork with a voodoo shrimp. Th rocking three rods today, so keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully fly the drone a little bit. And uh, yeah, just really just going to chase a little bit of fish, hunt for a few flounder, hopefully catch a red. Hey, a speck will be a bonus, but thanks again for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and uh, let's get, get loaded up and get in the water. So we are in the water. The water's very a lot higher than it was the last time I was out here. And a lot warmer. I think I came right after right after the freeze. So we just had like the freeze like maybe seven to days ten days before. So you know the um it's gonna be a little foggy. I mean it is a little foggy. That's not always a bad thing. The biggest thing that you have to watch out for is boats on the water. So I have my 360 light, have a flag, have a whistle. So and then it's also good to have some kind of spotlight to kind of shine in their direction to kind of let you know, to let them know that you're out there. So when I hit the water, a lot of times I'm always like, okay, am I going to pick a spot really deep and far back and away from the landing and go all the way over there try to keep blinders on and only cast on blow-ups I go all the way to the back <clears throat> target that area work my way back because a lot of times when I am fishing in my kayak and I am fishing the marsh although this is kind of like semi marsh but if I am fishing like in the deep marsh that, that has miles or at least several miles we can run back into I will to say okay I'm not stopping till I hit a school of reds and a lot of times that's what you have to do I hear people tell me often man I never never see my school of reds I never did this I never did that well you know they're not <laughs> sometimes you get lucky and run into them as soon as you get in the marsh but most of the time they're in the back they're in the back somewhere they're chasing bait the water levels high they're acting crazy out there all you know for a couple days or maybe even overnight and you just need to get on your horse and ride a ride it hard all the way to the back and then once you get back there really start scouting the area out really start looking for signs looking for birds looking for boils looking for nervous water looking for bait and then work your way back to the landing so either work your you know you get two choices right either start fishing and hit a couple points on your way or go as far as you can looking for schools and before you run out of time before the sun goes down you start working your way back too so that's kind of like really like the two choices that i make for myself when i am fishing my kayak we're going to come in here and hug the grass line a little bit um the fish aren't showing themselves still a little foggy so i don't know if they uh are just kind of laying low seeing bait though there's a lot of bait a lot of mullet so We'll come through here, hug the grass line, cast into a few drains, see if we can uh, pick off a flatty. Typically I like to start, really start fishing with a, a if I'm throwing a tandem, I make sure I have a white on. Whether it's a shrimp or sh uh, manna shrimp or mullet, I make sure I have white on. But because of the, uh, is that a fish? I never felt it. It feels a little, it was a little heavy though. Yep, it's a flounder. Uh, small guy, but he's still on. It got a little heavy. Never felt the thump or anything, but he's really small. Uh, anyway, I was saying that I always like using white. White is always like a go-to color. 
just works so good in different so many different water clarities uh, but put this root beer on because of the dark of the day and yeah I got this little guy so nice little guy got little fleas on him but we're gonna get those guys off you we'll get those guys off you real fast there we go little baby little baby he's gone oh man I forgot to get the fleas off him dang it <laughs> I was trying to like to get those other guys off him I don't like throwing them back with the little fleas. Although they're probably going to go right. He's probably going to go right back to the same spot. Go get the same dang fleas on him. I just don't like to leave him on. Alright, so let's... Uh, let's go back in here. See if we can get another one. Got another one right here. Pretty sure. Little guy, another little guy. You know, he might not be as small. There's a little more weight to him. Oh yeah, he's he's small. He got the pink one. Yeah, it's two. Two right here. See, that's what well, I'm telling you, man. I mean, they can be stacked up. So I mean, people always say that these are males because they're small, but you know, there's really no real way to know. Females are small too when they're younger, so. So much to try to handle fish. Fish grips always help so much to try to handle them. There we go. You know what? Not a whole lot going on back here. Haven't seen anything. Only I, only thing I've seen is mullet. Haven't had uh, any blow-ups or really any takers. No one's showing any interest. I just put some fresh gulp on. And a lot of times that would do it. You know, you'll have your old gulp and you switch your gulp up and put some fresh gulp on. And then you'll start, you know, that trigger the bite sometimes. And, you know, fishing with that voodoo shad. And uh, still nothing. No takers so you know outgoing strong outgoing tide kind of hung out intersection for a little while with the water draining i thought you know for sure i'm gonna run into you know a couple reds and uh maybe even a flounder but nobody nowhere is going goodness turn nobody nobody but these mosquitoes are biting that's the only thing biting is the mosquitoes and uh geez well not turn well that's gonna do it man you know i i i don't know what to say you know the fish fish are fish you know and the wind is kicking up it's howling now it's probably like 15 close to 17 maybe 18 miles an hour and I have a strong outgoing tide so i'm just like moving my legs pumping my legs barely going anywhere fighting the wind fighting the tide going back in Hit a couple more places, hit a little deep hole right there, right behind me, and um, yeah, 
just not doing it today man tons of casting my arms feel like it's gonna fall off but you know i i wanted to come out here again you know and this was like not i was gonna go somewhere else then i passed it up then i was on my way to somewhere else and then i said you know what let me come here so this is really not my first choice but i wanted to see what it was gonna do last time i came here it was right after the freeze and i know i said that a couple times but last time i came here it was right after the freeze i brought some live bait and I wanted to come back because the water clarity was good. I know I remember, I remember there was a little bit of bait in the water as the afternoon went on. And there's a ton of bait out here. A lot of mullet. Water clarity is awesome. It's a little murky now because the wind picked up and the tide picked up. But, you know, this it's fishy. Today should be fishy. Low bite forecast. And it's done just that. I've thrown, you know, a handful of different things and fished them a handful of different ways. And hey man it's fishing it is what it is sorry i was really trying hard to get one more fish to put on towards the end of the video but it man it happens right but i hope you guys appreciate it you know what us youtubers especially those that kayak fish or those that fish in general man we 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 put it to it man we will grind out some days and grind out some catches and uh and, and really try to put a good show on for you guys at least i know i do and then then i have to get out go back home and i'll edit all this and I, I really will work hard and and trying to get a good edit for you guys so i do apologize you know wish there was more fish it's not but i'm still gonna throw this up anyway so <laughs> i'm sorry but yeah you know what i had a good time on the water regardless you know i'm glad the wind kicked up a little bit because the mosquitoes aren't here but now it's just kicking my butt so i'm gonna get off here stop rambling get focused and uh head back to the landing i got a about half a mile to go so me about a mile probably got about a mile to go thanks guys don't forget like comment subscribe share to next time hope you catch me hooking up